Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, we're gonna show you how to migrate the database from Endura 2.0 to Video Expert 2.2. In the upper right hand corner, you will notice that we have three IP addresses listed. This would be for the SM5200, the Video Expert Accessory Server, and the Video Expert CMG. With the IP addresses confirmed, we'll now need to download the VX integration tool. That tool is available to download by going to www.pelco.com forward slash KB. In the search there, type in 17745 and press enter. This will bring up the migration knowledge base article. Within that article, we have the download available for the Endura Migration Tool compatible with Video Expert Suite 2.2. Once we click on the link to download the export tool, we want to download the following files the AS import 2.1.0-8x86, the SM underscore export 2.1.0.8.x86 and lastly the ve underscore import 2.1.0-8.x86 once the files have been downloaded we can copy them to a folder on the desktop as you can see here, we've already done that process and all of our migration tools are available and ready to go. Next, we wanna open admin portal by opening up a browser and then heading to the IP address of our VX system once in admin portal, we want to verify the cameras that are currently commissioned on the system. Once we have verified the cameras that are commissioned on Video Expert, next we want to open up Endura Utilities and confirm the version on the SM5200. As of this video, the latest version of the SM5200 is 1.5.2. If we are not at this version, it will need to be updated. With all our settings confirmed, our migration tools downloaded, we now want to open Command Prompt. At the Command Prompt, we want to switch to the desktop directory in which we downloaded the migration tools. Before we get into actually running the commands, let's take a closer look at them. The first is the export command for the SM5200 database. This captures the SM5200 database information and exports it to be imported into Video Expert. Make sure to substitute the site's IP address where SM5200 underscore IP underscore IP address is. The next command imports the SM5200 database into Video Expert. For this command, you will need the core IP address, the core username, the core password, and the migration file. Lastly, the third command. This imports the DHC configuration and leases. For this, you'll need the accessory server IP address and the migration lease file. 
the best way to run these commands is to first type them out as we've done here in Notepad. They can then be easily copy and pasted into the command prompt window. Now let's go ahead and execute the first command. We'll copy and paste into our command prompt window. Here we'll type in the IP address of our SM5200. Once that's done, we'll hit enter and the process will begin. You'll notice now we have four additional files in our migration tools directory. The four additional files are dhcpd.conf, dhcpd.leases, export underscore 192.168.1.3sql, and then migrate underscore 192.168.1.3jsoon. With the first command now successfully run, let's run the second command. We're going to again copy paste into our command prompt window. Next, we're going to put in our core username, which is admin, our core password, which is capital P, lowercase e, lowercase l, 289-9100. Now we need the migration file name. To do that, we can right click on the migration file, select rename and copy, and then we can go to the command prompt, right click and select paste. We want to make sure to copy the entire name, including the file extension. Once that's done, hit enter, and now the import process will begin. Now, with the second command successfully executed, we're going to do the last command, which is going to bring in our DHCP configuration and leases. An important note before running the last command, we want to make sure that the SM is no longer running the DHP services. This is an important step to ensure that the leases and the DHCP configuration transfer over correctly. The process is the same as the previous two steps where we will copy the information from our notepad file to the command prompt. Now, even though I know this says migration lease file, the file we actually want to copy the entire name, including the extension from, is the dhcp.conf file. Once we've done that, right click and paste it into the command prompt and then press enter to execute the command. This completes the process. We can now open up the admin portal page and if it remained open there in this process, we can simply refresh it to see that the names have now been updated. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. And remember, at Pelco, we've got it all covered.